What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, in spite of somebody saying that the green color looks like Kermit the Frog threw up, I believe that Ubuntu Mate 15.04 is the best Linux operating system for beginners. Well, let's take a look. All right, the official press kit for Ubuntu Mate. Achievement unlocked. Sounds like Halo. All right, Ubuntu Mate is community developed and Ubuntu based operating system integrating the Mate desktop or Mate. It's pronounced Mate. I know a couple of subscribers says I was saying it wrong. Understandable, but it is pronounced Mate. Personally, I don't care. It just works. Objectives. Now, I will not read all of this. Of course, increase both Ubuntu and Mate desktop user integration. Restore the halcyon days of Ubuntu before Unity was introduced. Unity was and probably still is hated. I'm not really sure why. I think it looks fine and it works fine. And let's see, provide a refuge for Linux users who prefer a traditional desktop metaphor. Okay, new features. All right, Ubuntu Mate is an official Ubuntu flavor. Establish a hardware partnership with uh, Entroware, congratulations. Added PowerPC and Raspberry Pi 2. Supported hardware architectures. Added a new default theme called Yu Yo Yo Yo. Yu Yo. What is it with you developers in these names? Anyway, check it out. Uh, added user interface, uh, switching to Mate Tweak. Uh, Compass support, the tilde pull down menu. A bunch of other stuff here. Uh, replace upstart with system D. A lot of controversy with system D. Uh, personally, I don't get it. I think it works fine. Uh, some more information here. But let's take a look at this and see why I think that if you are a beginner, if you are a Windows user, this one rocks. Um, I'll look at the packages here in a moment, but it's been a while since uh, everything that I need to use as a Windows user, everything that I need to use in Linux in a Linux-based operating system, it works in this one, specifically uh, multimedia applications. It seems like in the past, sooner or later, running multimedia, uh, putting aside games, okay? Multimedia in the past, sooner or later, something would just freaking break. It hasn't happened here. The only, if I had to pick something unusual with Ubuntu Mate, I have an Epson printer. And sometimes it'll, it'll pop up here on the top right with the printer icon, printer error, uh, printer hasn't finished printing or something. Um, it prints fine, uh, it loads the paper and prints fine, but it comes up with the printer error message, um, even though it works fine. That's the only quirk um, that I've seen in this. Generally speaking, Linux and printers aren't always good friends. That depends, of course, on the vendor drivers, more so than the Linux operating system. But that being said, that's the only unusual thing that I have seen in Ubuntu Mate 15.04. All right, so let's take a quick look at this. Now, I've taken a, a look at this before, but I think I will expand on this. So you have two panels, top and bottom. The bottom panel is not required. Um, I suppose the top panel is not required. But for a lot of people, probably you may want to delete the bottom panel, right click and delete. I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, I think if, for me, for what I do, it works fine. All right, the top right, power, that's right and time and date internet sound right click go to sound preferences hardware input again if you are coming from a windows environment you won't have any issues going through this um, the kazam screen recorder a lot of you ask what do i use um kazam seems to work okay in fact kazam um, vocal screen Simple Screen Recorder, Screen Studio, they all work in this. That's terrific. I don't really need all of them, but hey, they work. All right, the Weather app, you can right click, add to panel, and you can add, such as the Weather applet to this, or for example, Trash, just T-R-A, 
add and it will add the trash icon now you can move this um, I have the trash icon at the bottom right so I don't need another one so right click and remove from panel uh, this is one thing that is missing from the unity desktop that I wish it had uh, other than that I still think unity is fine but getting back through to this I added some brief uh, some small shortcuts here uh, Banshee, Clementine, the Terminal, the Mate Terminal, Opera, Google Chrome, uh, Pale Moon Browser. The way to do this is you can just click Applications. Let's say I wanted to add Firefox. I can just drag that up here and you have Firefox shortcut. If you don't want it, right click on it, remove from panel. Again, the thing here is if you are coming from Windows and are new to Linux, this is meant to be intuitive. You can learn as you go. It's not that difficult. With this, I don't believe you have to read uh, documentation. Um, it wouldn't hurt to read documentation. Reading is good, right? That's right. Pick up the book. Pick up the book. And look at it and read. You might learn something. Okay, so we got system preferences um, I installed what I call the extra drivers the ATI AMD drivers and none crashed uh, it works terrific so there you go the way I did that I went to uh, additional drivers and it gave me some options to download and install uh, searching for available drivers I already done that so I will click um, close all right so Let's go back and, uh, yes, that's right, I do not want to continue. Let's go back to system. We got preferences. We looked at hardware, internet, and network. Look and feel, other, and uh, personal. Um, other, or I'm sorry, look and feel. The Mate tweak is pretty cool, I would say. It gives you the opportunity to change the look of your desktop. Uh, one thing about this, if you go to panel layout, if you choose any one of these besides, of course, what you have now, it will delete your customizations, meaning your shortcuts will disappear. That is not a bug. I was told that is part of this release. I believe the lead developer has said in future releases, uh, he might be able to fix it where you do not lose any customizations when you change the panel uh, layouts. And you can go here with from Compiz or Marco Simple Effects. I've tested both. Both seem okay. I'll just leave it at Compiz for now. All right, places. This is really self-explanatory. The home folder, um, the one nice thing about this is you can right-click on any folder and change folder color. Oh, let's go with blue. And that one changed to blue. I changed a couple of other ones here. But again, just a nice little extra touch to customize your desktop. Compact view, list, and icon view. Again, if you are coming from a Windows environment, you really shouldn't have any problems. Of course, you can right click on the desktop as you would in Windows. And you can customize this even further. You have your choice of theme, background, or fonts. Uh, as far as background, if you really think that Kermit the Frog threw up and don't like the green, you don't have to keep it. I think Wayne said that. Hello, Wayne. That's funny. Um, I don't mind the green personally, but I guess we can just go with this one for now. Semi greenish blue. Maybe that looks better. I don't know. All right, well, let's go to the applications here. Uh, accessories I installed this quick launcher uh, the Omni launcher is it called Albert don't know why it's called Albert but that seems to work pretty good uh, a couple things here uh, I installed the Skype call recorder plank is installed by default I don't use a, a plank dock all that much education LibreOffice math uh, graphics Again, I don't use too much of this here. Internet, I installed a couple items. Uh, Dropbox, uh, Chrome, Mumble, Opera, Pale Moon, Browser, and Skype, Ticker, Yasser, RSS Reader. So far, everything works. Very impressive. Um, go to Office. 
I think everything here was installed by default except um, Abbey Word. Sound and video, I installed Amarok, Banshee, um, Clementine, uh, GUVC View, Kazam, Caden Live, OBS, um, Screen Studio, Media Encoder, SM Player, uh, Vocal Screen. I've tested all of these. Um, they all work. Very impressive. System Tools, Bleach Bit, bit Bleach Bit, I installed. Deconf Editor, I believe I installed that too. I'm not really sure why. I, have, um, I think I was trying to customize something. Um, and of course, the virtual box I installed also. Let's go to the system monitor and see what we have here. Using about a gig, I have multiple uh, things open here and including running the screen recorder. So this is about right, not too bad really. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, let's see, um, yeah, enough there, and of course, universal access. Um, I can go on with this, but let me just say that if you have an older machine, if you have at least a gigabyte of RAM to run this comfortably, definitely check this out if you're into YouTube and wanted to uh, do videos or podcasts. I've tested this so far, everything works the way it should. It's, this may not be fancy like a, like a KDE desktop or a GNOME 3, but you know, what good is fancy if nothing works the way you want it to work? It's, to me, it's pointless. Now you can customize this to make this look fancy if you want to, but that's the beauty of this. Everything works the way it should. And if you really don't like the green color, you can change it but everything works the way it should. Um, for me, for all of you beginners out there, this is uh, Ubuntu 15.04, Ubuntu Mate 15.04. To me, this is, um, this is Windows user certified. About the only thing I have not tested in this is gaming. Uh, I'm not saying that it won't work for games. Um, Honestly, at this point, if you are heavy into gaming, you should probably stick with Windows. However, it will not hurt to try gaming in this. You might be surprised. Obviously, a faster machine, a decent graphics card, the appropriate video drivers, all that helps. But if you really like gaming and really like this, you can just dual boot. I dual boot this in Windows 8.1. I seldom use Windows 8.1 since I have this. For gaming, yes, I will boot into Windows 8.1. But other than that, right now I don't have to use Windows 8.1 as much as I used to. And that's a testament to this terrific operating system. Well done. One last thing I just remembered, this is only supported for nine months. Uh, if you're looking for a long-term support release, I believe it's three years, maybe more. Look for the uh, Ubuntu Mate 14.04, I believe. But even though this is a short-term release, this works pretty darn good. So check it out. I'll have a link for this below in the show notes. All right, let's see. Finally, a couple things you can still vote for April's YouTuber. It does not necessarily have to be about technology. I'll have a link for that in the show notes. Also, I don't have a date, probably in May, for the next live event, the UK show for all of my friends in different time zones. UK, of course, meaning Ubuntu Kingdom, right? Right. If you would like to help sponsor the live event, you can. I'll have links below. You can sponsor it through Patreon or through PayPal. Any sponsorship would be, would be very helpful. So thank you very much. All right, well, that's it for this one. If I missed anything or if there is something specific you would like me to take a look at or test in this, uh, let me know if I have the time. I will be happy to test it. Uh, congratulations, Martin Wimpress, the lead developer for this. Um, this looks terrific, and I'm looking forward to uh, our conversation. When you have time, talk a little bit more about Ubuntu Mate. 15.04 and why he created this. I think I know why. I think it has something to do with his wife. It's a cool story, uh, but I will have Martin explain this later on. So thank you for joining me once again. This is Ubuntu Mate 15.04.
definitely check it out. I'm done. I will catch you guys later.